People have been using hotel rooms for drug deals for decades now, but as soon as the River Inn staff got word of what was happening up on the second floor, they called Spokane Police. Just before midnight, a lady who had been staying at the hotel for several days went to the front desk and announced that she was checking out. Uh, and she also told the front desk that there was a male that was unresponsive in this room. Um, and so we responded. Spokane police arrived to check on the man's welfare and found him passed out on the bed and dealer quantities of drugs scattered throughout the room. They took Donald Butler to Sacred Heart and then woke up a judge to get a search warrant. And uh, once we got the search warrant, signed by a judge, we went back in and found a lot of methamphetamine, heroin and cash. A little more than $28,000 in cash. That money coming from the sale of a half gallon freezer bag full of methamphetamine and four golf ball sized chunks of heroin. Butler apparently was protecting his product with a loaded 357 revolver and a police quality taser. The problem for Butler, he's a convicted felon and not allowed to possess that gun. Police say Butler's alleged drug sales were likely leading to more property crimes as his customers tried to come up with cash to make a purchase. And that is the driving force for most of our property crimes. People need to make a quick buck, unfortunately, to sustain their habit. Um, and so this definitely could have prevented a lot of crimes with this arrest. It's not clear if Butler was in town to sell drugs to the Hoop Fest crowd, but one thing is for certain, a guy with a gun and a lot of drugs will be hanging around a hotel that is about to welcome a lot of kids and their families for Hoop Fest. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXOI 4.